You know, let's bring in Rudy Giuliani right now, America's mayor, to give us his take on this, because this isn't just something, as you know, Mr. Mayor, that President Obama is dealing with. This is something that's landing in the lap of the president-elect as well. What do you make of this most recent development, Russia not retaliating, and the back and forth that's been going on? Well, I find this all part of uh, what is extraordinary in what President Obama is doing. I've never seen a president try to create more problems for a future president. First, he double-crosses Israel. And after many times and many other presidents uh, vetoing the condemnation of Israel for taking the settlements, uh, he doesn't and creates a lack of leverage for Israel and the United States in trying to trade land for peace or try other negotiations. In the, in the last hours of his presidency, he completely d double crosses one of our biggest allies. And now, after 18 months of this hacking, he does something about it. Why didn't he do something about it 18 months ago? Hmm. It wouldn't have happened. Yeah. It, 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 somebody could honestly say none of this would have happened if President Obama had been awake. <laughs> if President Obama had listened to, uh, to Mitt Romney when Mitt Romney said Russia was a threat and he laughed at him. Mm -hmm. yeah. uh, if he didn't reset the relationship with Russia and give up uh, the defense of the Czech Republic and Poland, give up nuclear defense of the Czech Republic and Poland. If he didn't invite Russia into Syria and bring Russia back into the Middle East after 30 years of being out of the Middle East. After all that, and letting this go for 18 months, two weeks before he goes out of office, he does a bunch of these sanctions just to create a problem for, for Russia. And it, it, it's not only too little, too late, huh. it's almost silly in the way yeah. he did it. I mean, yeah. And the New York Times uh, is reporting, Mr. Mayor. Yeah, the New York Times is reporting that they're trying in the White House to box in Donald Trump, uh, your friend. And so what, I wonder what you would counsel him to do uh, in reaction, because this is basically an executive order. So as you know, on day well, one, Donald Trump can reverse all of this, but then he has his critics out there saying, you're already too close to Putin. So if he reverses them, would that be a mistake? Well, you make the right decision. Here's what you do. You get your own people to review it. Uh, there's no question that the uh, intelligence that President Obama mm -hmm. has been getting has either been incompetent or politicized. Uh, this is the JV team, right? ISIS was the JV team. This is the president who couldn't figure out how dangerous the Islamic State was when people were telling him that, including me on your show. Mm -hmm. uh, this is the guy who thought Russia wasn't a threat back uh, just four, uh, four, four years ago. Uh, this is the guy that allowed this hacking to go on for 18 months. If the Democrats want to be angry about the hacking here, they should get angry at Barack Obama for doing nothing about it. Also, if they hadn't written awful things, the hacking would have meant nothing. If they, if they had sure. actually been sure. uh, writing legal and ethical <clears throat> things and not talking about quid pro quos and not talking about how miserable uh, uh, the candidates were, none of this would have meant anything. Look, hacking is illegal. I do it for a living. I, do, I don't do hacking for a living. <laughs> I do cybersecurity for a living. And this is prolific. And there should be very strong reactions against anyone who did it. Right. And but something that... I would, Go ahead. I would, I would, I would urge that Pre President Trump, when he becomes President Trump, have his own intelligence people do their own report. Let's find out who did it, and that, let's bang him back really hard. Not some moving a couple of this one's around sure. and that one's around. They're not, they're not hacking from those places. Mm. It's, it's totally absurd. Yeah, and, and a concern that everyone should, should be aware of and, and concerned about. So we've seen um, acknowledgement publicly on Twitter between Vladimir Putin and President-elect Donald Trump. What's going on behind closed doors uh, with President-elect Trump? Is, have there been any real conversations with Russian officials up to this point that you know of? I wouldn't, uh, wouldn't comment on that. You know I, I shouldn't <laughs> and wouldn't comment on it. And, and, and the reality is there is only one president at a time, and I think uh, President-elect Trump's uh, statement was uh, uh, correct, you know, uh, that he's going to take a very good look at the intelligence reports that the Obama administration has. And then I would recommend to him that he have his own people do their own independent report so that uh, we get beyond what has been very flawed intelligence. You know all those reports we had just last year that President Obama was getting the intelligence reports he wanted to hear, that we were winning the war, mm -hmm. that ISIS wasn't that dangerous. Uh, I would want my own independent analysis of this 
and then I'd want to hit back hard, a lot harder than President sure. Obama hit back. You know, but I'd, wa I'd want to hit the right, hit the right target. Yeah. Right. I mean, if you're going to, if you're going, if you're, if you're going to, uh, if, if you're going to solve a murder, you arrest the murderer, not the candy store the murderer went to before he committed the murder. Well, well Mr. yeah. Mr. Mayor, you mentioned that there's only one president at a time. Usually that's leveled at the incoming president. But Barack Obama's made these decisions in the last three weeks on Israel, on Russia, and elsewhere. Is he trying to box in uh, the president elect? He is. What's he trying to do? <laughs> of course. Why didn't, the 18 months of hacking, why didn't he do something about it 10 months ago? It never would have happened. If he had done something about it ten months ago, or if he didn't know about it ten months ago, what does that ago, say about Barack Obama? Really and his what, what does that president. say about the legacy of President Obama? Well, I don't think there's much of a legacy at all. Uh, but what it says is that there's a certain pettiness that I hadn't seen before. I mean, to, to do this after 18 months, when you could have prevented it ten months ago, to double cross Israel in the last hours of his administration after pretending that he was a friend of Israel, which no one believed, I never believed it, not after the Iran agreement, uh, but at least he pretended to be a friend of Israel. To do those two things, to basically uh, reduce the leverage of the next president. Look, a report like this, done correctly, could be tremendous leverage against whomever the hackers are, whether they're the Russian government, Russian operatives, or some other operatives. This would be tremendous leverage that could be used uh, to help us. He's taking sure. that leverage away right. from the next president. Same thing with Land for Peace. He's taking tremendous leverage away from the state of Israel and the president of the United States in dealing with the Middle East. And that's a shame. And, and an ex-president should act with more dignity and respect for the presidency than to do but that. But doesn't this go beyond just hacking? In order for President-elect Trump to, to hit the reset button and get it right in his next term in office, don't you have to understand what it is that Russia wants? And it goes beyond just hacking. They want to undermine the West. This is a much bigger picture than that, right, Mayor? Uh, it's a much bigger picture. It has to be seen in a much bigger picture. And that's why petty little actions like this don't mean very much. Mm. Uh, it, it, it's almost a mockery to say this is too little, too late. I mean, it should have been done 10 months ago, 11 months ago, 12 months ago. If it is really true, the response should be much stronger. But I want to see that report. And then I'd want my own people. I, I do investigations of hacking. I'd want my own people to yeah. investigate this. And I'd want to know who really did it. And then I'd hit them back so hard they wouldn't be able to do it again. And, Mr. Mayor, would you recommend, we've got 30 seconds, would you recommend that on day one Donald Trump uh, let, let these diplomats back then and, and reverse some of these I recommend on I recommend that on day one he get his intelligence people together and uh, gather, all, gather all the information independently and then make, it, and then make a decision. Great. Make decisions, based on, <laughs> make decisions based on facts, not just on you know, political reactions. Sure. We hope you get some downtime with your family down there in Florida. Happy New Year, Mr. Mayor. <laughs> Happy New Year, Good and uh, save a little champagne for me. No. There may be none we'll left. Try. I spilled it all. <laughs> <laughs> Good to see you, Mayor. Have a Good New Year.